In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to configure cloud mail-in for BuddyBoss reply by email. So I'm going to assume you've gone ahead and purchased the plugin and uploaded the zip at plugins add new, and then we'll go ahead and activate it. So now you can see we have a settings link we can go to at BuddyBoss reply by email. And we're going to go ahead and move to email setup. You'll see this warning saying we need to configure the email for this plugin to work. So this plugin integrates with a service called, called Cloud Mail-in. I'm going to go ahead and open that. The reason being that the way this plugin works is BuddyPress and WordPress send notifications to your email, and you're going to be able to reply to those notifications and have them come back to your server. And so we need a service that can reliably pull in content to your server, potentially thousands of emails um, every hour, and not get flagged as spam and have all of them work and work instantly. And your regular Gmail account or your server likely is not going to work well for that. So we recommend integrating with CloudMail. It's free, free for 200 emails per month, great for testing. And then for only $9 a month, it allows 3,000 emails, which is going to be enough for most people. So we're going to go ahead and click this create a free account link. Okay, so I'm on step two of the account creation. It says, where shall we send your email? So if you go back to the settings here, you'll notice that we've replicated the screen down here to make it easy for you. So the URL for your HTTP server, you're just gonna copy the URL we've given you and paste it here. That's the correct URL. And then for post format, you'll see we've recommended multi-part recommended, which is uh, one of the options here, the, the default option. So as long as you paste that URL and click this, you're all set. And then click next. And then now it's given us an email address. This is our return email that we're going to be using within the plugin. So we're going to go ahead and copy that email and paste it in here and click Save Changes. And we're all set. Uh, everything should be working right now. So in order to test this, we can go ahead and click Send Test. And you can enter your own email address here, not that one from CloudMail, and any email that you're able to check. And from there, you'll be able to test if it actually works. So, and they have a tester in here as well just for their service, but we're gonna go ahead and use this one to make sure our actual application works on the website. So, um, let me enter an email, and I'll click send test. Test email has been sent. Now, it's important to note that you cannot test this locally on a local host website. It needs to be on an actual server for this to work. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and check my inbox and see if I got it. Okay, so you can see I received an email from support. It's just the name that we, we gave it. And um, you can see it's written to me. However, the reply is auto-filled with that cloud mail and email. So if I were to click reply, then you can see it says reply above this line to post a reply, which it's automatically putting me at. And I can say, here's my reply and um, it's going to go to that CloudMail email, which will, there, which will then be pulled into our server. So let's see if that worked. We're going to click Read Reply. And sure enough, here is my reply. It came in. Okay, so we now have confirmed that the core functionality of the plugin is working. In the next video tutorial, I'll show you all the specific features of the plugin.